open an image in Affinity Photo and then go to the Layers panel. You can find that in View Menu, Studio and Layers. With that background there, go over to Layer Menu and you've got an option here for Duplicate. So I'm just going to duplicate that. So now I've got that copy of it. And again, Layer Menu and Duplicate. So I've got three, three of those. One of them, I'm going to turn it into a mask. So how to do that? Go to Layer and down to Rasterize to Mask. And that will convert it into a mask format, mask layer. Rasterize, and you can see the effect there. You get this unusual, slightly inverted effect. What you can also do is with that mask, you can drag it down into one of these layers. I'm going to go for this one. So I'm just going to drag it down a bit, just there. And as you do that, you can see a blue line appears between the image and the text and release. Now, nothing particularly much looks different. But you can also go to this one, the background here, and go down to effects as well. So just click there. With that, you can go for, say, 3D. And as soon as you do that, you can see what happens. You get some nice depth to this. You can see everything's got a slight bit of sort of indentation there. And you can modify the value. Also go for bevel emboss as well. So 3D, just go for that one. And you can just change. Don't push it too high, because if you do too much, it will just sort of make it very, very sort of rounded. Doesn't look so great. You can change that. You can also tweak the profiles, maybe modify the profiles, and you can see different profiles will result in a different effect. So just use these ones and just see what you like. You can also modify the direction of the light. So you can just move it around. I'm just going to go for about there. But you can also go again, bevel and boss, and you can tweak this as well. You can push this out, maybe change, say go for outer. And tweak that and again do exactly the same just modify these settings and you can see as you change that you'll get a different so it can vary depending obviously on the image as well also got profiles here as well so you can select that maybe you think that's a really nice design well what i'm going to do i'm going to close this now so close that and of course you can go back to that at any time you can always with that layer selected you can always go here and click effects again and just change it or maybe turn around and say you know what i don't want that deselect it so you can modify it again just tweak it slightly maybe just change it just a little bit and then close now what you can also do is you've got blend modes so you can blend just go here with blends and you can go through maybe multiply might be better or just stick with normal but i'm going to go to this mask so you can select the mask completely independent of this one this layer so with this what i can do i can go to filters so filters and down to colors now quite a few of these don't really do much with the mask but what you can do you can go down to emboss and emboss recreates a very unusual effect so emboss and the default doesn't create anything which is slightly odd so it makes it just flat but you can go to radius and just change it just subtle and as you do that, you can see what happens. You end up with this very, now just 5.5, 5.6, and you can see the effect there. So you can create a very weird, sort of unusual, very like a painting, a painting basically. You've got this painted effect across this all the way. And you can obviously modify the amount as well. So you can just push that up and you can also rotate it. So you might find that certain directions work better than others. So you might think, oh, you know what? I want that road surface. Not that you want to go across a road that's this lumpy, <laughs> but now you can see the effect changes just by changing the rotation. And you can move it around, go for, but you can push this up, change it. But again, what you can do, you can always go up here and you can change the blending mode. So you can go, well, you know what, I want darken. Now the result may vary, you can just flick through there, just maybe go for lighten and so on and so on. Just try them. Okay, that's the layer with the effects. And you can click there again and you can just tweak it so again you can modify that you might think you know what that might just change it a bit more maybe a bit less and close and there you have it a lovely painted effect using a combination of just three layers obviously using a mask and also layer effects as well as obviously the emboss as well hope you found this is interesting thank you much